Hey, what's up, everybody? Another edition of OVW Mania here on Triple Threat Talk for episode 105. I am Brian Cannon here to bring you the latest OVW news. And I'm going to start with the latest edition of OVW TV, which was episode number 722. It was filmed Wednesday night at the Davis Arena on June 19th, released online on ovwrestling.com and blip.tv Thursday, June 20th, and then re uh, released to air on WBNA Ion 21 Saturday, June 22nd. The show started out with then number one contender Rob Terry coming to the ring. He discussed his upcoming match with uh, Jamin Olivenzi at the Saturday Night Special on July 6th, but said first he was actually challenging Jay Bradley to get out, who, who's been running around looking for a... Uh, shot at the title, trying to get in the title picture, and uh, challenged him for a match uh, right then and there for his number one contendership. Jay Bradley came out and said that he wasn't ready right then, but he saw that the main event spot was open, and him being a pay-per-view star and being in the Bound for Glory series in TNA, that sounds like the spot for him, and he's accepting the uh, uh, number one contendership match for the main event spot later that night. Rob says that he will tear Jay limb from limb and then bumps him with his shoulder on his way out of the ring. But before he can fully get out of the ring, uh, that angered Jay Bradley. And he attacked uh, Rob Terry, went after his bad knee, uh, went, out, went to the outside, grabbed a chair, and ended up going to town on uh, Rob Terry's knee. So Rob was going into the main event uh, with a handicap. Uh after that, we see a promo for, I guess, the official television debut of The Body Guy. So you'll be seeing a lot more of The Body Guy on your television set soon. Uh, Marcus Anthony was back in action this week. He faced Paradise and put him away with the Gamma Punch. Jesse Goddard's bad luck continued this week. Uh, he lost another match, this time to Rockstar Spud. Lady Tapa continues to dominate as she destroyed Heidi Lovelace. Then backstage we see uh, Epiphany yelling at Eddie Diamond. She's upset because she found his phone. And on his phone was a picture of Lady Tapa, as, I guess as a screensaver. And uh, she asked why it was on there. And he, he tried to uh, say that it was because he was doing research for her in case she ended up having a match with her in the future. And uh, he, he was just trying to help her out. Uh, after that, the television title was on the line. Randy Royal against Sam Shaw. Uh, Randy Royal ended up getting the win after hitting Shaw with a steel chain to knock him out. However, uh, as soon as the match was over, Tony Gunn ran out, told Chris Sharp what was going on, lifted Royal's arm up where he was trying to hide the chain, and the chain fell out. So Chris Sharp restarted the match. Uh, Royal and Gunn started shoving each other. Uh, Gunn shoved Royal to the mat and said, I'm through with you. And then as he went to get out of the ring, Royal got back up and shoved him out of the ring. But then at this time, Shaw had gotten back to his feet and uh, came rearing back. And uh, it looked like he was about to get the win after hitting his uh, backbreaker, neckbreaker combo. But before he could get the three count, the coalition came out after being quiet all night, not seeing anything from them. Uh, they came out. Muhammad Ali, Vaez, Michael Hayes, Rockstar Spud, Ryan Howe, and Rudy Switchblade all came out to try to help out and even the odds. However, when the coalition came out, the generals, Crimson and Jason Wayne, had set up a chair in the corner. And uh, while all the commotion was going on, everybody was fighting in the ring and around ringside, uh, Crimson and Jason Wayne had grabbed Sam Shaw and threw him headfirst through the steel chair in the corner. They end up retreating to the locker room while Ali, Hay, Spud, Hal, and Rudy all check on the fallen Shaw. In the main event matchup, Rob Terry, even with one leg, and Jay Bradley working it over, uh, the entire match was able to beat uh, Jay with the power slam to remain number one contender. So at the next Saturday night special on July 6th, it will indeed be Jamin Olivencia versus the Welsh Colossus himself, Rob Terry, for the OVW heavyweight title. Before the TV show could end, Ali and Hayes came back out making a beeline to the ring. They called out the coalition. They didn't want to wait to Saturday night special. They wanted to do it right now. They said that uh, their good friend Sam Shaw had been taken to the hospital, and they don't know when he'll be back because of his head problems um, after being thrown through the chair. Uh, they're backed up by Rudy, Hal, and Spud. Um, however, when the coalition comes out and they start fighting, Jason Wayne goes to the back and grabs his baton and ends up knocking everybody out. Um, Crimson uh, then, with Ali and uh, Hayes in the middle of the ring, grabs a can of yellow spray paint and spray paints uh, down the backs of both Ali and Hayes and calls them the cowards. 
uh, to end the show. Uh, it, it, it was very deafening. A lot of booze in the arena. You could hardly hear what was going on. Jason Wayne tried to end in the night by reciting the uh, Pledge to the Coalition, which he did. And it sounded, you could actually hear it on television. But when you were in the arena, it was so loud and deafening, full of booze, that uh, you, you couldn't even hear what he was saying. So uh, definitely a lot of uh, haters against the Coalition, a lot of fans for uh, Ali and Hayes. Probably hoping that they will be able to take the OVW Southern Tag Team titles away from them coming up at the July 6th Saturday Night Special. I'm going to take a quick break, and when I come back, I've got a couple other OVW-related news tidbits that I want to pass along, and uh, we'll get it done in just a minute. Thursday Night Impact Wrestling Vibe is coming to Louisville on July 18th. Experience the action, feel the emotion as Spike TV cameras roll live. See Hulk Hogan, Jeff Hardy, the icon Sting, Kurt Angle, Bully Ray, Aces and Ace, the TNA Knockouts, and many more on July 18th. Be a part of history as Impact Wrestling is broadcast live around the world from Broadbent Arena at the KEC. Tickets starting at $15 are on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Okay, for some other OVW news, if you haven't heard Chris Sharp puts out his own wrestling podcast. Um, there's not really a set schedule on him, but he's got quite a few up as we speak. You can get to them by going to the link at the bottom of your screen there, that iPatio.com slash channels slash Chris, Chris underscore Sharp. Uh, it's called Chris Sharp's Wrestling Podcast that only kind of has to do with wrestling. Right now, he's got podcasts up with EFD, Eddie Diamond, Michael Hayes, James Moose Thomas, Doug Williams, Ryan Nemeth, uh, who was Bradley Pierce in... Uh, NXT, Jamin Olavencia, Rip Rogers, and indie star Ace Montana. These are all about an hour long, and as the title suggests, they do have to do with wrestling to a point, but they also talk about other things. They're usually a lot of fun to listen to, and uh, I definitely want to get this out there because Chris Sharp does a great job in helping me uh, get my news and information out, uh, anything that I tweet out uh, or put on Facebook. Uh, he's usually good about sharing and retweeting all that stuff. Uh, to help get it out there. So make sure you check out Chris Sharp's wrestling podcast that only kind of has to do with wrestling. They're a lot of fun. Also this week, there are a lot of OVW birthdays. So OVW Manny would like to send a very happy birthday on Sunday, June 23rd, to OVW fan advocate and ring announcer Terry Bodie. Thursday, June 27th, to the current OVW television champion Randy Royal. Friday, June 28th, a happy birthday to the strongest gamer alive, Marcus Anthony. And then this Saturday, June 29th, a very special happy birthday to OVW superstar and American hero, Michael Hayes. So that pretty much wraps it up for this week's edition of OVW Mania on episode 105 of Triple Threat Talk. As always, you can go to ovwmania.blogspot.com and there you can find more information about OVW's weekly shows. I have more detailed results as well as the dark match results, the weekly top 20, and any other breaking news or information that I might have to pass along you can find there. Um, I would like to send a special thank you to Terry Bodie and Chris Sharp. They do a great job helping me get my news and results and things out there, whether it's Facebook or uh, retweeting it on Twitter uh, and that sort of thing. So without further ado... Th that wraps it up for this week. I'm Brian Cannon from OVW Mania. Back to the guys in the studio. Thanks a lot.